Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fault New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch, and we are going to fight some feral ghouls. Eat it! Okay, there's more, but we're going to avoid them. Now, we came to the shack. We've come to the shack to, uh, well, we got that now hiring. Uh, hold it, where is it? No, whatever. This guy's offering us a job, and we're gonna take it. And we're still just south of Prim. I barely moved 10 feet from the last episode. Now, this is a favorite mod of mine. So, yeah. Oh, and, uh,. Not for the faint of heart. Hello. Welcome to Randall and Associates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? Yes, if it's still open. Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? Absolutely. That's good, and I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes come increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty and increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself, and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? I'm up for anything. Your first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with a rifle, he was drummed out of the rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? Who do you work for? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? No, not really. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. Now, hang on a second. I missed something here. I'll speed through his dialogue. Hello! Here. Welcome to... How did you get started as a bounty hunter? I'm a relative newcomer to Vegas. I grew up far, far to the east. My parents were Brahmin herders, somewhere near the Mississippi. I never figured to be a violent man. Hell, I hardly shot a gun until I was in my twenties. I just wanted to raise my own family in peace. One day, a man came calling. He offered to help with chores, and he seemed sincere. He was a big help for several days, so I let my guard down. He clubbed me in my sleep, and he died and gagged me. And then, he made me watch. He raped my wife, right in front of me. Then he cut her open, pulled the baby right out of her belly, and he butchered it right there. He carved off most of my face, then he left me for dead. That was 15 years ago. I've been searching for him ever since. For years, he was always two steps ahead, preying on families in isolated areas and repeating his crimes. A few years ago, I heard he had a run-in with the regulators at the D.C. Wasteland, but it's just a rumor. He's probably dead by now. I resigned myself to this profession, and over time, I've come to grips with the fact that chasing that man is a dead end. You got quite a story out of me, didn't you? I hadn't talked about that in years. Any other questions? Yeah, like I said, not for the faint of, <laughs> of heart. This is... 
Uh, uh, uh. What was his name? His name was Marco. He's almost certainly dead by now, but if you ever come across him, cut out his heart for me. Any more questions? Who do you work for? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? No, not r no, I'm ready. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof, and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. Okay. Have you killed Quigley yet? No. What the fuck are you waiting for? Get out there and kill him! See you later. Bye. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so. Very, very adult stuff. I thought this was hot. What the fuck is this? Uh, I need some whiskey. It is dark. So we are continuing on our way south. Team Hampton. New Vegas bounty. Well, there should be a different. I kind of town. Alright. Taking the bait. Where's the. Okay. Oh, former NCR Ranger, apparently. NCR Rangers, they're like the special forces of the NCR. Scouts, etc. John Dick. NCR Rangers actually predate the NCR themselves. They're very cowboysy. These guys won't actually attack until we open fire first. Never but we will. Oh. oh, they won't attack until we open fire or we pass their little uh, dirt line. I don't want anyone to pass. Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. Sometimes I think I'm rooting through my inventory more than I'm doing anything else. Go. That. That. It's these. It's that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, now he's wearing it. Crap. Don't wear that. Oh. Come here. Okay, but I know exactly what's in. There. Okay then. So again, we're heading to uh, the outpost. We're heading in this direction for all kinds of reasons. Bitch. Okay. 
cowboy repeater. There's a fun weapon. Crowbar is actually uh, another weapon from Project Nevada. I need to ski. Continue on. Now I'm going to stop here. And you know why. I have to fit her conversation in the episode. Yeah, so bye everyone!